Welcome to my first ever UK carping vlog. Now, just, first off, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Tony. Um, I'm a Mad Carp Chasers team member, Retro Baits team member. Um, you might have saw me on a few uh, Mad Carp Chaser vlogs in the past. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd um, start my own page, start my own YouTube uh, channel. And uh, yeah, see where we go from there, like, basically. So. Uh, yeah, I'm from the Midlands. I've been fishing now probably 30 years plus. Um, not always carp fishing. I used to do a lot of barbell fishing, a lot of river fishing um, back in the day. Um, done the odd carp fishing, but I wouldn't say carping. It was just like a method feeder. Um, pub chuck kind of thing. Um, but yeah, over the last... So over the last... Last four years, I've really got into my carping life, so yeah, I've switched everything over to the carping now. So, so yeah, so well, I'm down at um down at Buzzard Valley today. Got a well, we had a 48 hour lake exclusive down here with the Mad Carp Chasers, um, Stu and John. And we had a 48 hour lake exclusive booked. Um, but I didn't get down here till like 12, one o'clock yesterday. Um, due to work and stuff, same as John. John Day get down here till um, five o'clock last night. Um, so, but yeah, nobody's had nothing at the minute. Um, Stu had a run yesterday. Uh, missed it though. I think John's had a run. And I've, I've had a couple of bleeps, and that's about it really, at the minute. It's um, it's about half past ten at the minute. I, ne I never get my rods in before 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, never ever. So what I've done, I've just I've just tied up with, uh, um, a few new rigs. So when this rain stops, because it's been raining all day, as soon as this rain stops, I'm going to get them rods in. Um, swap over the baits. Yeah, the minute I've got, um, I've got one on a uh, running rig. That's got a uh, animal um, snail pop up on it. I've got one out on um, on a wafter rig. That's got a, a bio um, wafter on it, top with a top with a piece of corn. And I've got one out on on a caster rig. Yeah, so it's basically just a, a, a bunch of uh, bunch of casters on a tiny bit of zig foam, um, just to make it that you know that. Um, look like a wafter kind of kind of bait like so your hook could sit flat on the flat on the bait on the bottom um yeah and your cluster of casters will just sit over the top you know over the top of the hook like so but i've had nothing on i've I haven't had um i've had a couple of bleeps but i've had no runs at all got a bunch of ducks over my left hand rod at the minute so that keeps giving off so i'm diving down so i'm gonna have to move that another rod length out now find a bit of the, 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 the deeper water. I think I'm just on the top of the shelf on that left hand rod in the margin. So I'm going to just put that slightly further out. Um, but yeah, really nothing to report at the minute though. I'll give you a spin round. I'll show you the lake, but I will... Um, I'll show you my spots later on. Like, so yeah, that's my view at the minute at my bivvy. Obviously I could take you outside because it's absolutely tipping it down. Making uh, it's making filming very hard, like. Um, but yeah, that's my view at the minute. Quite a nice place to be fair. Let's give you a quick look round. So yeah, that's my peg. Yeah, but you never know. You never know. Get these new fresh baits on. Yeah, I'll get these new fresh baits on and that, and um, I'm going to get them out in my boat, like. I'm going to get the sonar on. See what kind of depths I'm out there now. Spent, I'll spend about half hour just having a look around my swim. Yeah, and then get them out, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, I have a run, because there's supposed to be some nice fishing here. I think there's a few 30s, I think there's one high 30s. Um, so yeah, good chance of a PB for me. Well, yeah, what I'll do, guys. Um, 
when I'm when I'm sorting when I've got my rods in and I'm sorting all my rigs out and stuff, I'll run you through the rigs that I'm using and that on this session. Um, yeah, they're, they're more straightforward. I've got I've I've tied up another three rigs. I've got now um, just a blowback rig with a snowman on it. Um, I'm swapping that to meaty garlic retro baits, meaty garlic. Um, 18 mil bottom bait um, and the 10 uh, sorry 12 mil pop up on that. And I've just whittled them down a bit just to make them look like they've been in the lake a while. Um, what else have I got? I've got a choddy. Um, putting one on a choddy on a super fruits pop up again. I've just I've just trimmed it down just to just to make it look a bit a bit old. <laughs> so it looks like it's been there a good while. Um, and I've got one on a um, multi rig now. Um, little animal snail dumbbell wafter. Yeah, and I'm I'm just gonna top that with with my uh, my little caster rig, so that'll just sit above that 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 dumbbell like. Yeah, and a few casters around it, and um, hopefully that does the trick. But yeah, we will see. So right then, guys, I'll give it about half hour, and then I'm gonna get my rods in. So I'll get back to you um, when I've got my rods, and I'll show you them rigs and stuff. And, uh, get back to you in a bit, peeps. down there for a few hours to be fair um, so I don't really have a chance to get through my rigs I just needed to get the um, I just needed to get them back out before the rain really set in like um, yeah they've, they've all gone out sweet now I've had the sonar out on the boat and that so I've, um, I've tried to aim let me turn you around I'll kind of show you where I'm at I'll go outside because it's rainy. Right then, carpers. So, my left hand rod, I've got in this margin just behind this bush here. Um, I've got it about two rod lengths. I've got it about two rod lengths off the, um, off the near margin because uh, there's a nice shelf there. So I've just aimed for the bottom of that shelf basically because I've been having loads of coots and stuff picking up my bait on my left hand rod so I've tried to aim for the bottom of the shelf this time. Then my middle rod, my, my middle rod I've got just there, sorry just there in the middle. So I've got that on a choddy, um, little retro bait super fruit. Um, yeah, the, the left hand rod is on a, um, so it's on a blowback rig, 18 mil meaty garlic, um, bottom bait with uh, a little, um, I think it's a, a blueberry, blueberry snail on that, 
Yeah, middle middle rod's got a choddy on it, super fruits. And my right hand rod, which is it's just there on the far margin. So I've got that about two rod lengths off the far margin as well because there's another shelf there. Um it goes up to like two and a half foot right in the margin. Obviously that's way too shallow. Um so I've just tried to get it again just on the bottom of the shelf. Um, spin you around. Yeah, I've just tried to get that, that on the bottom of the shelf, like. You know, I'm just trying to. Just trying to um, cover all the bases, basically. So, yeah, that right hand rod, it's on, um, it's on my little. It's got like a little retro bait snail dumbbell wafter on that. Um, what's it got on here? I topped that off with my little um, my little caster rig. Basically, a little piece of zig foam um, with a bunch of casters on it, just to just to pop it up like. So, so yeah, I got basically I got one on a one on the bottom, one on the wafter, and one on the pop up. I don't see what else I can do really barely put any bait out in the boat at all yeah just a little little scattering like so hopefully that brings me a bite and yeah, the range just stopped now so hopefully it blows over so yeah I'll get back to you in a bit guys I don't know what the time is now to be fair um, time is now Time is now 20 past 1. So, yeah, I'll leave these out for a few hours now. And then I'll get them back in, redo them again for the night. But hopefully, hopefully, I have a run. Right then, guys, see you in a bit. Right then, guys, just thought I'd quickly check in with you. Give you a bit of an update, like. Um, basically, I've had nothing. Um, not even a bleep. Literally nothing. So about an hour ago, um, I basically left my rigs out there because they'd only been out a couple of hours. So I thought it's a bit pointless, um, a bit pointless getting the rigs in and changing them because they're going to be presented anyway, definitely. So, but I basically, I just I put a bit of bait over the top of it, literally an handful of bait, nothing major, um, rather than disturbing them rigs. So yeah, so um, hopefully. Hopefully I'll have one in the night though, but it's gone dead flat now as well, dead calm, all the wind, rain, everything stopped. Um, so yeah, it's like a it's like a milk pond out there, it's just it's real nice flat. Um, so so yeah, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to get me uh, get me tea on, got me old pizza and chips and uh, whack that in the old ridge monkey. Yeah, uh, sit back and watch a film I think. Hopefully I'll get a run or two. But yeah, I'll get back to you just before I uh, before I go to bed. So speak to you in a bit guys. Right then guys. Got the old tea on. Just thought I'd show you what I'm having for tea man. Got the old witch monkey. What have we got in here? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chicago town pizza and chips on the bank. Get in. One week. 
okay, but yeah, what can you do about that? What can you do about that? I've still got the night anyway, so we're gonna be off here till nine o'clock. So hopefully one of us can uh, get a bike before then. bite in the night I'll get back to you like but um, if not I'm gonna uh, sign off for the night and watch a bit of Ant and Deck and, uh, yeah, just chill out basically so, right then guys if I have a fish I'll see you in the night if not I'll see you in the morning right then guys right it's the morning now it's about um, it's about ten to eight now. Yeah, I've had nothing through the night at all. Not even a bleep. No indications, nothing. No boshing. I, I literally I heard a thing. I saw one bosh since I've been here. Um, but yeah, as I say, um, last weekend they had twenty five fish out. So I'm pretty sure that's what that's what the problem is here. Like it was all caught last weekend. They're having it this weekend. Maybe it was about a week too late. Just uh, starting to pack down now. Everybody's on the pack down. So, just gotta whack my baby down there and get my rods in. And uh, yeah, getting back to the uh, get back to the house. Got myself a bath for that and uh, have me some dinner. But, yeah, I think we um, we'll probably be going down to Stubby Lee's in a couple of weeks. Um, try and do a 24 or 48 down there. So, I think that's the next on the agenda. Well, yeah, guys, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the vlog. Sorry, I've been able to catch no fish, but um, it's the way it goes, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's only my first vlog, so it's only going to be a quick one. I don't really like showing the blank sessions, but so that's part and parcel of the carpet, isn't it? So, so, right then, guys, see you on the next vlog.